Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Going over my coins again by popular demand. <laughs> I mean, after all the research that I've done, and if I've decided that these are the ones that I want to hold, and I'm pretty happy with it, actually. The way things have gone lately and the way my coins have performed, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. You know, I'm not seeing Shiba Inu style gains, but that's just not my thing. I'm a hodler and I'm looking for, I look more with utility, I guess. I'm a utility type token guy. That's what I typically like to, uh, it just interests me seeing partnerships and the way things work together. So obviously Alliance Block, well, Quant, Alliance Block, and uh, Hedera Hashgraph all come together in what I'm seeing as the big picture. And uh, a couple other people are seeing that as well. So uh, what I want you to do, and I'm mainly focusing on Quant, Hedera Hashgraph, and Alliance Block today, even probably mostly Alliance Block, because I think it's the real undervalued one here. I mean, we look back at it, we've got uh, still just over a $200 million market cap. I think it's really got a... A, a high upside. It's just my opinion. And uh, look at these partnerships. Quant, of course, which has already taken off. And probably a lot of people are thinking, oh, it's gone too high. I probably, it's too late to get into Quant. And, you know, you can kind of feel that way about Bitcoin or Ethereum as well. It's chances of, uh, you know, 100xing from here. At not that great, at least in the short term, for sure. So maybe, you know, you're holding on to, I have, a, you know, what I feel is a good amount of quant. And some people say, hey, just have one quant, at least one, right? Kind of like holding maybe a Google or something early on. It's possible. And so why not, you know, just put one away? There isn't that many of them. Uh, same thing, you know, with uh, H bar. You know, I got some thousands of H bar and I'm just going to let it sit there and maybe it's not going to thousand X any day soon, but it's probably going to be something huge. A uh, chain link as well. Now I don't have hollow chain, but I am certainly not saying it's not great. A lot of these coins that I don't hold are fantastic. It's just, I had to pick and choose which ones I was going to hold because holding a whole bunch of a little bit just wasn't as great to me as holding you know, a decent amount of maybe 20. And this is just the way I'm doing it. I'll probably say that a few times here. So you look at some of these other partnerships, you know, I noticed Icon before and API3, I did a video on that and Ocean, you know, I own Ocean. I thought API3 was great. It's mostly a government, well, it is a governance token at this time, as far as I know, but that could all change. And, you know, some people think governance token is fine. I think Dragon Chain is the same. It's just governance tokens don't just seem to do as well, in my opinion. You see Energy Web here, Unido, which I did invest in. And over here you'll see Unido. Alliance Block will utilize the Unido multi-party signing engine as part of their on-chain transactions. So it's going to be part of Alliance Block, which, you know, Gives us a little bit of boost, in my opinion. But Unido will also be using Alliance Block. So it's it goes back and forth. You see Polygon here, and of course, Hedera Hashgraph, which we talked about before. Elrond, Ava Labs. So they have quite a few partnerships. And one of the things not mentioned here is actually Genesis Shards, which uh, Rashida Jaja from Alliance Block is uh, one of the, I believe, co-founders or actually investors in. So this is something I looked into, and I found a lot of this listening to King Solomon. So I want to give that a shout out. I mean, this guy has really been, uh, you know, on it, uh, most of his videos, and uh, I do appreciate that. And I kind of take what he says, and then I follow it up and do my own thing. But uh, here's a couple clips of what he's been talking about lately when it comes to Alliance Block and Hedera Hashgraph. If you are not aware, Alliance Block has multiple products. One of their products happens to be the Alliance Bridge. Now, Alliance Bridge directly operates on the Hedera Consensus Service. Uh, we can see it right here. This is from back in May. Uh, I had posted, I think, on Patreon and a couple of other things uh, 
early in April or maybe it was late March that I saw that Lime Chain, Lime Chain, L I M E uh, Chain, obviously. Um, was the one facilitating from the developer network. I saw that there was a developer working both on Alliance Block and Hedera Hashgraph and kind of made the assumption based on my own findings, which obviously came to fruition. Um, but yeah, the Hedera token service will be integrated into Alliance Block's Trustless KYC product, which is another product through Alliance Block. And the Alliance Bridge utilizes succinctly, and if you follow Alliance Block on Twitter, you know that when the uh, Hedera network upgrades, um, Alliance Block will announce that on their Twitter uh, for the Alliance Bridge mechanisms and utilities. So we'll use the Hedera Consensus service, which acts as a trust layer for any application or permission. So some pretty good stuff there, and it's kind of the things that I've been talking about, uh, just the update. And here's another update from InCash Official, also talking about sort of the same thing in different ways, Alliance Block and Quant. And of course, the Dara Hashgraph. Um, and let's actually talk to you guys a little bit about what is happening with Alliance Block. So we already know that Alliance Block has been partnered with a lot of other, you know, companies, or I shouldn't say companies, but other assets that we are already invested within. But we do see our DeFi data regulation and compliance. These are the three layers of the Alliance Block protocol that will help build the financial industry of the future. Guys. We've been talking about the future of finance for a fairly long time and check out these three layers on what they are doing um, in regards to what they're actually building overall. So we do see our products and solutions are divided into three layers separately. They help DeFi projects grow and traditional finance institutions invest in our industry. Again, they're basically bridging traditional finance and, and decentralized finance. But in DeFi layer, we offer cross-chain interoperability with Alliance Block Bridge built with Dara Hashgraph, uh, as well as access to additional liquidity and volume with Alliance Block LMAAS, liquidity mining as a service, and Alliance Block decentralized exchange. Users will also have access to peer to peer funding protocol with Alliance Block funders, as well as have a comprehensive dashboard of data analytics and information for use in DeFi, uh, strategizing with the Alliance Block terminal. But so is QNT. Now we do see here. Now, uh, again, with Alliance Block, we just hear it's collaboration that we have or, or that we are having and connecting to LSEG connectivity platform. And yes, we are planning to use Overledger, which as you guys do know, QNT leverages Overledger. Uh, we will have more technical deep dive to show how prior to release. We go all the way back to this as well. Gilbert, uh, Gilbert Verdian, who is the CEO of QNT. Well, not many people understand the scale of SIA or SIA, which I've talked to you guys a little bit about before. This is one of their partnerships. Uh, it's one of the world's largest financial infrastructures that connect central banks, commercial banks, financial institutions, and governments. If you think of any bank globally, they are already connected to CNET. They all have access to SIA chain and now to Overledger. It would have taken us 20 plus years to just meet half of those clients. We've gained access to all of them. Guys, I'm just going to say it now. Okay, this is exactly why I told you guys that we need to have at least one Q&T. So you can see there's just a lot of what seem to be great co connections going into what is happening and if you watch my R3 video, you're kind of catching that from the other side. And I think it's all just one team, and they're kind of dividing up the world, if you will. And I guess what gets me to that, all the things that we've been talking about for so long in this channel are just coming to pass. And I told you that the current situation, which I'm not allowed to talk about, uh along with climate change and banking the unbanked, are the three main pillars to which all of this blockchain will be, it's helping to implement. Because blockchain in the end is the goal, to get everybody on blockchain and blockchain ID. So you're about to see a lot of climate change co things come online. And I know this because I'm following what the banks are saying. And I told you before about the OMFIF and getting signed up for that. So you can watch this yourself. And the Sovereign Debt Institute from the OMFIF. Now, this is the banks. This is the bankers, the banks, uh, major corporations, all talking together with the governments to decide what's going to happen. 
<laughs> and so if you could see this, you're going you're gonna to know a lot. This is UK government's first green sovereign bond. So you can see they're just going to monetize the green and climate change agenda. And you're seeing that happen in the United States right now with this new bill. And you also, you see uh, C-Labs, which is Cello, also involved in some of this with the CBDC. So, of course, I am also invested into Cello, who, which also, if you remember from my videos, <laughs> Twi Jack Dorsey from Twitter was one of the original founders of. And here is Spearheading Digital Innovation and Cross-Border Payments, the Arab CBDC Conference. And you see with these things, with this OMFIF, it is the leaders and bankers from all of these different countries that are talking. And so these are the people that are behind the scenes making this happen. And a lot of this will happen in Africa, banking the unbanked. It will be, you know, it's happening already in Central and South America. They want to get everybody that's not online, online. So how are they going to accomplish that? That's what we're going to see. And that's what we're going to find out. And also another coin that I have invested in and I was just bagging on the other day because they really weren't doing anything is Stellar. Uh, Stellar partners with MoneyGram and of course they use USDC. So here's a partnership that could mean something for Stellar, at least it should, and something to keep an eye on. I'll probably go a little bit deeper into this Stellar thing because I, I want to give it a fair shake. Uh, so I've talked about Algorand uh, the other day, and now we've talked about Hedera, Quant, and Alliance Block, of course, with some of these low caps as well. Uh, so I'll go into some of the other ones that I haven't talked about yet in future episodes. But if you have certain questions about the ones I talked about today, feel pr free to put them below. And I hope you kind of get why I'm looking at the coins, and I hope you learn something. All right, love y'all.